Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. Season's greetings. I hope you're having a great day, evening or night, whenever you're watching this reading. So now, guys, let's get started. This is the nightmare before Christmas. And Jack and Sally has been, you know, having all kinds of different things happening and going on. So now let's see today what they have for us today. In the next reading, I'm going to try to introduce the new deck. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, page of needles. No, page of candles. I'm sorry. Page of candles. Page of wands. Page of wands. Page of Wands. So somebody's immature. And you know they up to some toxic stuff with a little bat. A bat is another mammal with wings. Um, a winged mammal. And that's the only other mammal that have, can fly. Um, so yeah, a bat. And then they have like monkeys and things like that. But that's the other only other mammal that has wings that can fly as a bat. So, so this is some pet, so this is toxic, nocturnal, so you know, bats are like night owls and things, so this stuff is like dark. Alright, so we have the Empress here, that's the Empress, on the dark side. <laughs> then we have the Seven of Presents, Seven of Pentacles, okay, and then we have the Hierophant, we have the Mare. High fence, the, my, the, the person of two minds. As well as we have a rebel out here. The new rebels is out here. Also, we have the um, the spirit is out here. American spirit is out here. And also, somebody might smoke these types of cigarettes. The American spirit, spirit cigarette, the natural cigarettes. Um, and this is also talking about a, a, a false lover. It's also talking about... What is the most unexpected gift you've ever gotten? Okay, and somebody said that there was a huge box of Welch Tropical Fruit Snacks. was a gift that they got. And this is some bitchy stuff because the bitch was not happy with the gift that she got. So, this is this Empress. You know, this is that karmic shit. I told you, we're dealing with the karmic. And if you didn't know we was dealing with the karmic from the beginning, I told you, this is once upon a karmic. Okay, this is all karmic stuff. Okay, from start to finish. And when we get to Christmas, even that night before Christmas, it'll probably be about a karmic. Okay, so this is what this talking about. So let's talk about what they want to talk about to this karmic is want to give to us. This empress karmic. Karmics can be empresses. Okay, they just start. I mean, hey. You know, they have two minds. They got false lovers. They think they're in love with somebody. That's not their lover. Okay. They like to snatch their pussy out and give it to guys. Okay, so this is a 21 plus reading. Raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I have no idea what these messages will be before these messages come out. So only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions and questions can be left in the comment section below. So guys, let's get started here. Alright. And today, out of my own deck, it's an exclusive deck on the table. Um, out of this deck, we're only going to use one part of it. This deck consists of 36 cards. Um, and yeah, so we're going to work with that today. And hopefully, like I started to say earlier, hopefully I get to introduce the whole deck. Even though I have done a few readings with the cards, I want you guys to be able to get in in detail. Um, look at the cards as well. So when they come out... You can actually say, oh, okay, this is that, that's that. She did explain that, okay? So, because there is a new deck, and most people might not, you know, understand where the cards are coming from. So, yeah, we're here. And it's my interpretation on type, on on the world we are in now. Because we're in the future. These cards that we, that come out, like the Rider Wake and um, the Lamorne, Lamorning, Lamorning <laughs> decks. Or what have you. All of these decks are, you know, by other, you know, readers and interpreters of tarot. And I have brought to you my own interpretation of tarot. 
Okay, that's my interpretation of my, um, it's actually not tarot, it's actually an oracle. Okay, just to get it clear, it is an oracle, and it does have some, you know, three of, you know, it does have some similarities, you know, in my perception. Okay, okay, so let's get started. So somebody's here in this, um, it's situation, it's all in. They're all in this situation, and this is the silver lining in this situation, as well as the do to buy. So the divine is in this situation as well. The divine is here. Um, and like I said, the divine can be the devil because he is a fallen angel. So it could be mixed with the um, the above as well as the divine, the devil. Okay. All right. So this is on the um, empress. Empress. So those ropes are out here. The ropes are still here. The ropes are here. So this is the birds, birds of a feather flock together. We have some fires on these on these gifts, on these presents. So something is present here that they want me to know about on these gifts. So in these boxes of gifts, it they remember that Oogie Boogies had stole the gifts, okay? So we don't know what's in these boxes because they probably took what was in the gifts out okay so now we got regifting going so now this is the fountains on the mare the known of the um hierophant all right all right so and this is the ladders and the stairs so they got two things we're going to be climbing the ladders and the stairs okay the ladders and the stairs okay so let's talk about it Let's talk about who this is and what they want to say. Talk about these birds. Who are these birds? Who are the birds here? Come on. Who's the birds? Clear. Clear. All right. Here's the birds. This is the wind. This is the wind. How they blow in. How they blow out. What kind of, what kind of story they come with. You know. Like that breezy. Tell me about these fires. So fire and wind, it you can cause a big thing with wind and fire because it could spray. Okay. Alright. So all right, talk to me. Alright, so this is the ghost's dance. So these ghosts, like I told you, they took these gifts. Okay. These ghosts took these gifts from um Mrs. Claus, Sandy Claus. They took it from her, okay? So tell me about these fountains. This is the ancient one on the fountains. Okay, that's the one. You know. You got some, some things that they, they, they did. They did do something here and at the bottom of the deck. deck. Many paths is here. There's many paths here. Alright, so talk to me. Alright, so this is going to enlighten us about some things. Alright, so tell me about the things you want us to enlighten on this wind. Tell me about the wind here. All right, that's the spirit. What is spirit? Give, giving, and get. It's all a bit of both, okay? Changing her sound with her music, her new music, every week. Beauty bonus, okay? Saying, saving the planets, all right? So then we also have the fog of peace here. We have the fog of peace, okay? And, you know, on the ancient ones, we have that fog of peace here. Because, see, in a fog, you have to lift the fog to be able to see some things. So, behind this, let's see what this is. All right, so that ha that's um, a picture of Reagan. <laughs> Look at, like, um... A smoker, you know, he got peace, okay? He's supposed to, a, a fog of peace. And this is also telling me about Black Lives Matter. This is about back back when Reagan was, they didn't have Black Lives Matter then. And, you know, it's a kick, F you. You know, like, this is like retreaters to the Great Smoky Mountains. So they retreated because this person is not ready to face what's going on here tell me about these ghosts here 
And this is telling me that you earned it on these roads here. On these piece. Alright, talk to me about these ghosts. Ghost dancers. Yep, came right back out. Alright, so you've earned it here. I didn't know if it was going to come right back out, but it did. You've earned this here. These are the roads you are. This is your um, get outside, get around yourself. You might be a distance with somebody you're with. This is your revolutionary. Um, this is also um, keep it up. You know, keep on you on the right path. This is also the um, tracing the path of the, you know, path of whatever you're on here. This is the tracing the path here, you know. This person is a distance from you. This is that ghost dancer. This person is distant at, from you. You might not be in any contact with this person, uh, person, place, or a thing. This is the spirit here as well, letting you know that they're with you in this win. Okay, they're letting you know that they're with you. Okay, and they're letting you know that you might need some medicine here. Somebody might be sick. Somebody from gathering around. Practical magic. Four wizards combined. Um, beauty treatment, spirit service, and tips at home. All right, so you might be at home working your magic or so, and it says that um, she believed she could, so she did, so you could believe that you can and you could, okay? And that's your revolutionary, you know, travel. This is where we are. We're traveling these roads now, okay? A road ahead, okay? Let's talk about it on the secret and knowledge, okay? Talk about the secret and knowledge about what you've earned. What did you earn here? Come on, this might not be the one they want me to do. You've earned it. What did we earn here? <sighs> Communion. Protective frequency. So protect your frequencies here. You know, don't let other people come in and infiltrate your um, your energy. I told you the spirit was out here. You have the ego, the eye. You have all of the, you know help from above to help you here air water fire earth as above and so below okay this is the sweet hawk the hawk is out here wow and it says profound peace of mind so on the spirit you're gonna get profound peace of mind here and what about this fog of peace talk about that okay so that's the balancing in your polarities here you're going to have to um, balance your polarities here as well as compassion and determination is definitely needed here to come out of this fog of peace, you know, with this FU mindset that, you know, black lives don't matter, but at black lives do matter because back when Reagan was um, um, president, you know, black, we didn't have black lives matter. So now, you know, we got to get out of that mindset that black lives don't matter, but they do. This is what the message they want to tell me. And this is the intimate dance of beliefs and emotions. So somebody's dancing in their emotions right now. Where this um, ghost of dance is here. They're dancing in their emotions about how they don't feel or how they do feel. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, they got the connection of a deep breath. Deep breaths. So take some deep breaths here in this element, on this journey that we're in. You know, because we happen to take many paths here. We could take many turns, many ups and downs. So take your time. And also, we have the fast track. We're on the fast track. Somebody might be meeting people, coming to their house quickly, meeting, stopping over, having sex, and dipping off, okay? And like I said, we're still in that time of, you know where things are protesting and things of that nature are still going down and around the world, okay? And that is the silver lining, the people, not police, okay? So that's what they're talking about. The people are not the police. Um, and they're talking about an update. They're talking about new phone. Who this? About somebody here has got a new phone. Like I told you, somebody's calling on your phone. And, you know, this is the new journey begins here. I don't give a shit about liking you here. It's here as well. Somebody might live in New York City. Okay. And it's also a reflection as well. And you might be looking really good. The holidays might be coming. But this also might be your divine masculine thinking you're looking really good to him right now. But as you can see, she's riding a horse here. But as you can see, she's detached from that horse at the top. And she's seeing a new path here at the bottom. Okay, she might be looking past. She's not looking back to her past. She's looking good, but she's not looking for her divine masculine anymore. She's looked for him. She saw that things were not going to go in the direction that she was seeking, and she's deciding that 
a new path is where she wants to go. And that's where they told us. Those many paths are here. Okay? Those many paths are here. Right? Okay, y'all. So let's talk about that. So yeah, the Divine Feminine. And she's standing in her truth and in her power. She ain't letting nothing stop her. She's going all the way up those ladders. She's here now. You know, she's re reached her destiny. Her This is the UPS truck here on the side here. So her delivery has arrived okay and maybe you're waiting for a package but your package is coming soon okay and this is also new trends this is a op the opportunity this is a movement that really will move you here this is also the performance package of a manscape so you escape the man here uh, as well as well as you have the somebody is confessing that they didn't do something I swear I wasn't with that person. I swear I wasn't doing this. But they really got caught, okay? They got caught with a stranger, okay? This person is telling me they got caught with a stranger. And on the top of this newspaper, it says, The Daily Mirror. The ex-husband says, Astra keeps scoreboard. So somebody is keeping a score and notch. How many people they've been with, how many they haven't been with, um, while they've been in a marriage or situationship, okay? That's what they're talking about. Okay. And this is also three, two, one. This is also your a quick hookup. You got a quick hookup and a quick hookup canceled on you. This might be at a last minute cancel. This is also what is the SAR saying about your life right now? Because right now some things is being covered up because this is in the reverse. It's not in the reverse, but it's in the reverse, if that makes sense to you. This is upright, but you see the numbers is going 3, 2, 1, going back, because you repeated a cycle here. And also, they have the oh, what a night here. Oh, what a night. So, back when you were on that horse thinking about being with your divine masculine and the things that you guys had shared together... You know, oh, what a night it was when you guys used to share those fantasies together. Okay, no no other compares to you is what he also is trying to tell you in this situation. No other compares to you. But I'm thinking that you've changed your mind, Divine Feminine, because this is a game changer. It was flamboyant. It's in your face. You know, it's flamboyant. It was plain to see. Okay, and no means no here. As well as this is the Nirvana here. As well as this is... Please tell me they make dog visalines. Okay, so this is projection as well. As you can see, the dog's teeth are, you know, projecting out. So, you know, he might be low, low, um, loyal to some extent, but he's also got projection as well. Okay. Yeah, guys, that's what it's talking about. Okay. Yeah. And somebody's talking about they'll never give up their divine masculine or their soulmate or their hookup or their boo or whoever this person might be to you. You're talking about not giving them up, looking like they are the love of your life. This person makes you feel good. Um, the passion and sex that you guys share is what is keeping you in the undeciding mode of leaving or staying. These many paths, okay? But just know why you're here. You have the freedom to go anytime you get ready. Because this person is talking about, um, bitch, I am the, the main ingredient. I am the secret ingredient. So this is a secret here. This person is your secret ingredient. They say that they are the thing that keeps the seasons of the most lavish weekend. Are finally feeling empath empathy toward them. That seems like a lot of work accommodating all the restrictions, usually about two hours to our two hours a night. These two is getting it in up all night. OK, so these two is up all night getting it in. And like I said, they was making love and passion with each other. So they're right back to back with each other. OK. This is my Oracle deck, y'all. This is what I had to come up with. And like I said, and before they was king. They was calling you. You was a fan of theirs. And this person was a tramp, like a tramp. Before you got with them, this person was a tramp from the start. And if you can't see it, I'll bring it close to you. And it says, like a tramp at the bottom. It says, this is um, 
major impact okay and this is before this is the inject before they injected their toxic self to you you know and brought their toxicity and see i told you passion with a person that's toxic is the best sex okay i told you that guys before okay so let's shuffle and see if they have any other messages that they want to give you on the um commune who is the commune that's protecting your frequency wrong i came in my <laughs> that was the balancing in your um polarities okay that was the lamb balancing your polarities Okay, so up close, I drain him. So the, the, the karmic is talking about how she drains him. Um, and Botox is like snake venom, right? So is Botox feminist? So she's injecting him with her venom. Okay, up close, she's injecting him with her venom. So they're together. Okay. Plumped, pout. So she's got her lips plumped to give him that pouty look to make her feel cute or make her look cute extreme makeover so she's trying to dress it up and make it look better than it is maybe it looks good to him like i said like she said she looks so good to him so that could be the karmic talk about she looks so good to him but divine feminine you're not looking back okay like i said you're standing in your truth and in your power you're not letting this stop you in no way shape or form Let's see what other they're talking over here. Let's see. Let's talk about it over here. Let's talk about it. This deck is so big to work with. So I had to break it down so that we could get some messages and the cards don't fly all over the table and floor. All right. So they have the I am still haunted by my actions okay so this person is still haunted by their actions okay and this is the silver lining it still is a virus out here as well the virus is still out here this is lightning this is somebody out here busy busy in somebody else's business this is that karmic still busy working her black magic and stuff so that's the sweet hawk right now and talk about the um the balancing what's the balancing here Okay, so this is the declutter. This is the declutter and unimpressed. This is your declutter, unimpressed car here. The best things. This is the watches of the year. So, you know, you got to watch some things with people and how they act and declutter some things out of your life that don't no longer serve you, okay? You know, no matter how love, cute and cuddly this person might be, might be loving and loyal, but is it ultimately you know worth it it says national use your gift card day on the 16th okay so you know use your gift gift cards that might be after christmas or before so this is telling you to prep 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 and this is prep 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 could be that prep hiv prep 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 it could be prep for something new prep you know for a new adventure a new journey okay so it's telling you definitely to prep 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 and declutter okay Definitely, y'all. And at the bottom of the deck, oh, my goodness. Then we got that manipulator out here. He's bitter right now. He's in his sneaky fest right now. This is our cauldron. He's out here on that play on right now. Play on, player. Okay? And this is that deceptive behavior here as well. That's that de deceptive masculine, you know. And he's going to be exposed. Okay? What are we exposing here on this the masculine on these gifts? What are we exposing here on him? Yeah, because you're looking so good, Divine Feminine. You are definitely standing in your power and your truth, okay? So, that's good to know. So, tell me some things on this fella here, on our cauldron. Sneaky behavior. Okay, this is a no on this deceptive behavior. Tell me about this fog of peace. Hit the floor. Excuse me, y'all. <sighs> this is the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? On this, what is haunted by my actions? No, that was on the um the fog of peace. That was um the crumbling. That's the um fire sign. And um 
Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Okay? And on this note, it's the same as that as well. Some more hit the floor. Okay, so then we got the mirror. They've been telling us ever since I got out here about reflection and mirroring. Okay, so this is your mirroring here. As well as the who or what is triggering you here. Birthing a new age. Birthing a new creation. Dreaming a new world into being. Okay, so we were dreaming in a new world into being here. Let's see. Okay, so talk about this now. Tell me about this now. Know your intuition here. Know your intuition. Okay, so tell me about this birth in a new age here. This is the sacrifice. This is how you sacrifice some things. You might have sacrificed your soul. You might have sacrificed, you know, your stability. You might have sacrificed your finances. You might have sacrificed your, you know, a lot of things in this situation with this cauldron type of person. This person that is very deceptive and a manipulator. You might have sacrificed a lot on the mirroring. All right, so that is the trapped in fear. Okay, so that's the trapped in fear. That's the fog and lifting the veil and saying, fuck you, I'm not getting out. This is where I want to be, okay? On these on these um stairs and these ladders that you were climbing in this situation, okay? And the do the buys. Now, the do the buys could be many things, you know? Let's talk about this trapped in fear. All right, so that's about the embrace. Embrace your fears and, you know, move forward, okay? Okay, let's talk about this cauldron here. This deceptive play on bitter person here. Alright, so that's the observer. Observe. Alright, so you gotta take take some time and observe some things. So you see where you stand on, you know, on some subjects. Alright, so this is your third eye chakra. So your third eye chakra is woke and wake and waiting to send you messages of uh, letting you know that this manipulator is out here. Okay? This manipulator is definitely out here manipulating and deceiving all right so let's see what this culture has been doing all right so i'm gonna use my sexual fantasy card um to see what they've been doing even though they showed me in my cards what they've been doing sexing each other lusting let's put this out here on here where they were lusting and i'm never gonna give you up um and the other one, it was another one. Never going to give you up. And show me what shoved in my face here on the sacrifice. Show me what shoved in my face. Okay, so tell me what's never going to give up here on this sex, the experience of orgasm, what's the awesome, what's awesome besides, and how to get it contrary to. The O, really, you don't need a um, network show every time you have sex. Your sexual data firm. Intimacy and confirms that intimacy and connection over orgasm when it comes to sexual satisfaction. All right, so tell me about this sexual fat sex or facts. All right, so this is him lusting after you. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, and tell me some more things. Okay. So this is you drinking. This is the temperance. This is you balancing the scales out up here over the X, 10, because it's a completion at the 10, at the top. Ten of Pentacles. That's telling me it's a completion here. That things are complete here. And it's also telling me that the Ten of X is about an X. And it's about a self. And it's about a five. It's talking about changed your mind about something here. Okay, so tell me about some things about this things that shoved in your face. Alright, so the things that shoved in your face is the world. The world. Two X's. Here is also showing me two X's here at the top. Two X's at the top. And it's also showing me that um, 
This is how this person conjures up the air, the fire, the earth, the water, and all of those things to combine this world of magic. Because, you know, in my card deck, this is my magician card. This is the magician here. He magics up all his magic, and he even used Buddy the Elf to get his stuff together. That's his cunningness, okay? So, yeah. And he likes women to come with sundresses and no panties on, okay? Even if it ain't summer to wear a summer dress. He wants you to wear a dress with no panties. Okay? And one more is... And then he wants to come and sing the violin to you after he's been, you know, delegating with others. You know, we got two violins here. So, you know, they want to come and sing the violin to you. Okay? You got a violin here. And, you know, when he try to bring peace. And, and, and then he got his violin here. On here. Bugle, violin. I don't know what the hell that shit is. But he come in to tell you some shit about the shit he been doing. Here. Watching another bitch. Been with another bitch. An ex. A nostalgic person he's with. In this world that he goes around in. This is the world he goes around in. Maybe up or down. And this is the magician. This is how he goes around on the sacrifice. Okay. And if you are liking these new. As above and so below. Um, seasons greetings. The nightmare before Christmas. Karmic readings. May you subscribe, like, and share, and hit that bell notification so you don't hit, miss another upload. Namaste. Now let's go.